Good afternoon, I'm Ed Pozzuoli, president of Trip Scott. Today we're fortunate enough to discuss what could be a centerpiece of our community. Right now in the northeast corner of Las Olas and the Intercoastal is simply a parking lot, a place with open area that supports a marina by the city of Fort Lauderdale. But the transition was likely to be the new Las Olas Marina being proposed by Larry Woods and his group. And now let me go ahead and introduce Larry Woods. Larry, welcome. Ed, thanks for the introduction. Uh, Las Olas is, is, is something that we all know in our city to be associated with high end. The current marina has a need for expansion, which is what we've been asked to do. It is situated just to the east of the drawbridge on Las Olas, and we have confined our development just to the northerly portion. So let's talk a little bit about it. I want to bring everybody to a map of where this exactly is. And so you'll be watching on the map. So talk to us. This is the drawbridge. This is the intercoastal. And uh, looking left is west and right is east when you're looking at this. The project sits just to the north of the, of the bridge on Las Olas. Talk to us a little bit about the description of the project in the neighborhood and how it fits in. Currently, uh, the uh, project is a, an unimproved uh, asphalt parking lot. Right. We have recognized the need to expand the marina from where it is now uh, to approximately twice the size where we can include five mega yachts as well as 18 additional super yachts a total of 76 yachts, but the yachting community will only come if there's something to come for. So we have designed a 220 room, five star hotel with restaurants, uh, pools and boutiques. It sounds like a pretty big impact project. How does it fit within the rest of the neighborhood? We're actually uh, only 10 floors where the surrounding um, living units are significantly higher. Our four floor garage, which has 500 cars, 60 cars for surface parking, is going to fit right into the community itself. When you talked about the parking, on the, when you're facing this, on the left side, show us where the parking enters, and so the actual hotel sits on the parking deck, right? Correct, Ed. Uh, it's what we call a podium style uh, development. Parking actually is entered on the south side of the garage. This is the garage itself. There are four floors of parking, 500 spots. When you're taking a look at this from where you live or in Idlewild right. or on the aisle, you can't even tell there's a parking garage there. It's going to look like a high-end, beautiful building with large yachts surrounding it. It will be a very exciting place for the yacht owner and his captain to want to come to our community and to, to spend time and, quite frankly, money. And so you've minimized the impact, though, because the parking, if I recall, all the other buildings in the area have trouble because they don't have parking. And, and this, you're building it in, right? Absolutely. We have approximately uh, uh, 400 additional spaces that can be used for the public. But what about the general benefits to the city from a revenue generation standpoint, as well as the residents in the area? We start out in a two-year buildup where we will pay to the city a, a, a net, 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 that's, a, that's direct cash of a million dollars a year. Our first year of operation, we pay in excess of 4.6 million. And by the end of the fifth year, it's a triple net of 5 million. This has a very significant positive economic impact on our city of Fort Lauderdale, which I believe will help provide the funding for ancillary projects in the area. Boat show also is very, very important to us, and we have made certain that they are going to be able to stage their floating docks, transformers, and everything else to the south of the bridge. What's the status of this project now? I know you submitted a proposal. Where are we? Back in April of last year, we submitted a, an unsolicited proposal, uh, which was solicited through the city. We have met with them in excess of 10 times and believe that we're at the, uh, the final stages of uh, getting the commission to decide whether or not they, they like us, and I hope they do. 
Yeah, my understanding is the city may want to dredge some of this and spend what amounts to $20 million of its own money coming from somewhere. Have they figured out how to pay for that? I think that they're uh, planning on either a bond issue or through the uh, CRA to come up with some funds. But uh, the yachting community, which I'm very familiar with, I've built yachts all over the world, uh, want certain elements. They want to have a place to stay, a place to recreate. They want to have a high-end deal. We believe that we're going to have the best overall assemblage of amenities, not just the hotel, not just restaurants, but the, the green area and the kinds of things that are going to be exciting, not just for the constituency, but for the, the people in the surrounding areas. And Larry, just walk us through what we're looking at here. That is a, what we call a westerly elevation of the project itself. It goes uh, four floors left to right, which is north to south, and then east-west is five floors. There's a window wall uh, in the center, which is very dynamic. When you come over the bridge looking east, you're going to see a, a phenomenal edifice. And if, if you're coming from the beach, uh, you're going to want to see all the big yachts and, and see all of the activity and the, the fun things that are nautical, which is what our community is all about. As wonderful as it, as it looks, or is it proposed to look, uh, it doesn't look as dense or as impactful as some other other things around the neighborhood. Absolutely. What uh, we talk about are sight lines, sight lines that come from the Isles, from Idlewild, uh, from the Venetian. There's not going to be anything objectionable. They're not going to see an ugly parking silo. So as a Fort Lauderdale resident, you're going to be able to be proud of this, like you are. This is something we're going to be I'm proud gonna of. I'm going to have my grandchildren come and say, this is what Grandpa did. This is what his team, Ed Smoker, Jim Wade, Bob Moss, all of those folks that are, are part of our, our development team, this is what we did. And Larry, we'll keep you updated and obviously uh, on the developments of this and it'll be interesting to see uh, how the city and this project progresses. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Ed.